Hi everybody, happy Tuesday. I almost said Monday. I normally go live on Mondays, but today I'm here on Tuesday. I couldn't um, do it yesterday. I had a conflict. So I'm happy to he be here with you today. So if you're there, say hi. Let me know who's watching. If you're watching on replay, um, let me know that too. It's always fun to see who's watching and I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, so I have a couple just a quick thing I'm going to talk to you about today and then I'm going to make a really cute card super easy it's one that I like because it can be mass produced and sometimes we need to make a lot of the same card and um, this is a quick and easy one and super cute so um, if you are there say hello and I am going to go ahead and switch my view down so you can see my hands there we go okay <clears throat> There's Colleen and Debbie. They're always the first two, it, it seems like, to be watching. So first thing I'm going to do is bring in this little box. And this is actually my bee box for May. Registration is now open. It closes on um, May 27th. And um, this month it is featuring the Brood For You stamp set and dies, or the Brood For You bundle. And I have a new perk with the bee box, and that is if you purchase my bee box or my class to go, um, I offer both each month. If you if you purchase four consecutive classes, then at the end of those four months, you will get to um, select a stamp set of your choice for free, just as a thank you from me to you for your loyalty. So. This is the this is the um, May B box, and this is what's included. Um, four super cute cards. Um, you'll make two of each card. Um, you'll get some product. There's some gems and paper. Um, you'll get card kits to make the cards, two of each, like I said. And then you do need the Brood for You bundle. If you don't have this, you can add it on to the class for the bundle price, so I save you tax and shipping on that. There's a couple different options, and I've added some add-on things as well, um, including the inks that I used and that sort of thing. So I will link um, at the end of my Facebook when I'm done, I will link um, to a registration page that will give you information more a little bit more detail about the class about the b-box and then a link so that you can register but don't miss out registration ends may 27 this has already been really really popular i think people love apparently people like beer and wine i don't know but anyway it's been super popular already so don't miss out it's a really cute class so hi sarah hi becky so good to see you all thank you for joining me so I have a super easy card today, um, but sometimes we need those quick, easy cards. And so I'm going to be using the um, Cup of Tea bundle. It's the stamp set and the dies. And this one has proved to be very, one of, I think, I would th say it's probably safe to say that um, it's one of the more popular bundles in the new with the release of our new catalog. And I have shared something with, uh, I did make another card with this earlier with the catalog release, but I wanted to show you another, another card. This is actually one that we did when I had my catalog kickoff. So I am using just basic white. Um, let me show you. I know some of you said you like to see the card that I'm making before I make it. And so let me just show you too. I am using the um, T designer paper. I'm not sure exactly what the name is, but I wanted to, um, this is part of the T suite. I wanted to just flip through so that you could see these papers. There's cute patterns, there's florals, there's lemons. And then there are things with like, let me see if I can find um, teacups. I know they're in here. Yeah, there we go. The teacups. There's the teapots there and the cups. There's the different tea teapots. Super, super cute. Really, really cute paper. So some more bold images on the A side and then smaller cute patterns on the B side of the paper. So I'm going to start with just some stamping and I am using Sweet Sorbet, which is one of our new in colors, and I'm going to do a tone on tone. 
Okay, so Debbie says she has yet to use her bundle. Well, Debbie, this is, you may want to do this card because it's really easy. So first I'm going to do um, just a tone on tone. I'm going to stamp my teacup with Sweet Sorbet ink onto Sweet Sorbet cardstock. And then I am going to take a little piece of white. Let's see if I have a scrap piece here. And actually this is just going to be a little thing. I think, yeah, I can just use this scrap here. Um, and I'm going to stamp, it's time for tea. And this little part is going to go, um, oh, I'm going to stamp that again. There, that looks better. Okay. So I am going to, um, Set these aside for one second. I'm going to be die cutting those, but I, while I have my ink out, I'm going to go ahead and do the stamping on this little white piece. So this piece is cut two and a half across by three and three quarters tall. And so I'm going to start, I think, well, I'm going to set that aside a minute. I'm going to bring in my garden green ink and I'm going to stamp some leaves or some stems, stems and leaves, I guess. And I'm gonna put that about right there. And you know what I should mention to you? I've had internet problems this morning. It looks like it's okay now, and I see some of you joining and watching, so I think we're okay, but if anything gets funky here, it's, it's probably the internet. I hate to even mention it. Let's knock on wood, right? So we don't have any, any problems. I'm gonna take my sweet sorbet ink again and I'm just going to add some flowers and as I looked at this I realized the flowers at least to me don't really you just sort of stamp them on top of the stems and leaves they don't really you don't really line them up okay so there we have that and then the other the only other thing I'm going to stamp is right across the bottom here a teeny little word stamp that says thank you for your friendship I'm going to just tap that and then just real lightly pull this so I can see what I'm doing here. I'm just going to put that right on the bottom. Okay. Isn't that cute? I love that. I don't know that we, well, I guess we've had word stamps that have that teeny little font, but I kind of like it just for something different. All right. I'm going to set, I'm going to close up my inks. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Anne-Marie. How are you? Okay, and I'm going to bring in my die cutting machine. So I'm going to move some of these things out of the way here. Bring this in and let's just make some room. And I'm using my the new magnetic cutting plate again. And so I mentioned on Thursday when I went live, it's a different configuration. It's it's the what you get if you've ordered this magnetic cutting plate. It's the the paper that you got with the sandwich. We call it the sandwich, which is how you stack the plates before you put it through. Um, the sandwich is not correct on the on the um, paper that comes with this, but it is supposed to be plate number one, plate number five, which is the magnetic platform, and then we're going to go ahead and put our. Um, cardstock here that we're going to be die cutting and I'll pull out my dies and let's see I'm going to use this teacup here for that and then I'm going to use this teeny little tag um, I actually now that I'm doing this I noticed that there is a die um, for the leaf, the stems and leaves that I just did, that I just stamped, and also for those flowers. So you could you could die cut all of those and pop them up if you want to. I wanted to keep this card a little bit on the simpler side. Um, well, for one thing, like I said, we did this at my in-person catalog event, and I had a lot of people coming, so we didn't really we wanted we wanted them to make something. Oh, and you know what? I think I pulled out the wrong. Uh, let me see here. Is this the wrong? should fit on there. Let me see. I may have picked the wrong to look at my sample. Yep, it's the bigger one. So there are two little little tags which go with like the tea bag. There's this teeny one. And originally I thought that was the one I had used on this, but I used the bigger one on my card. But let me show you 
that in the stamp set there are actually a couple teeny tiny little words word stamps that you can use with this teeny tiny little tag but for my card today I was confused I used the big one so I have this on the magnetic cutting plate and I'm gonna just go ahead and put um, plate number three down there and I'll just crank this through and it's nice because though this magnet of course holds the dies in place so you don't have to worry about anything slipping so we'll pop that out and it looks so cute and then we'll pop this one out and it also just looks really cute so I'll set my dies aside and one thing they recommended about this first of all they said to to cut on the side with the printing so that would be this side and that you should position your dies all over the platform I think we have a tendency and I mentioned this on um, Wednesday or th last Thursday we have a tendency when we're die cutting I know I do is to put everything right in the center of the platform but you want to move it around the plate it'll be it'll it'll help it last longer okay let me fold this up and set that down and I think we are ready to put our card together. So I'm going to start with my basic white thick. Oh, you're going to Northern Michigan. Lucky you, Anne Marie. Love Northern Michigan. We have spent a lot of time and we have family that live in Traverse City and we love, we love that. So this is the pattern that I chose for this card. There are a lot of different patterns that you can use and I'll show you some in a second here. So I'm just gonna use my Tombow glue and just put a thin little bit of this. I find that this holds really well. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in place. This is cut four and an eighth by five and five and three eighths. Oh, as I, I, I'm looking at my measurements and I'm sliding this over. I'm gonna take this off, put this back in the right place. It's nice to have some wiggle room with this DSP, but I didn't mean to wiggle it that much. I wiggle the clear off the clear off the card front. Okay, so there it is. And sometimes I would cut these a pattern like this um, or a panel like this, a layer like this, four by five and a quarter. But I wanted just a teeny bit of the white to show, so I added an eighth of an inch. So it's four and an eighth by five and three eighths. I'm going to add another dab of glue there since I pulled it up just to make sure that edge sticks. Okay, then I'm gonna take this piece. You could pop it up, I didn't. I chose to leave this flat and to just pop up the, the teacup. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this. We'll just center that on this card front. And then I'm gonna take my, so you, so you can see how this is going. My teacup is gonna go Right here, I'm gonna pop it up, but first I'm gonna attach my little tag for my tea bag. And so what I did for that was I took a teeny bit of our white Baker's Twine from, that comes from the Baker's Twine Essentials Pack, and I chose the white. And I'm going to put one, one end of this behind my little tag, and I'll use my um, dimensional to hold that in place to secure that. And then I'll do another one. Well, so let me go ahead and secure this now. And I'll just sort of put that on the edge there like that. And then I'll pop this or pull this behind there. And I'll just go ahead and do the same thing. And you notice I'm not pulling it really tight. Um, I wanted to have a little bit of a of a loop up there because I think that's how a real tea bag would be. I don't know. I just thought it looked cute. So, okay, so we have that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just add a couple more dimensionals to make sure that this stays nice and popped up. Oh, I've been to Glen Arbor, Anne-Marie. I love it. It's a beautiful place. Okay, so then this is just going to fit right over um, the stems and, and flower, the flowers. And so there you have the card, and I kept it really simple. I could add an embellishment. I think it'd be cute to put like a little dot right there. Um, we have the um, ombre 
in color gems, matte, I think they're called matte decorative dots. You could put one of those right there. That would be really cute. Um, but cute, super cute, super easy. You could easily make a lot of these cards. And then I am going to put something on the inside. I'm going to stamp Let's Get Together Soon. And I'm using that Sweet Sorbet ink. And I'll just put that right on the center there. Like that. So cute. So there's that card. Super, super simple. Like I said, it'd be easy to make. I know sometimes you just want a quick quick and cute card. But let me show you some other ones using the same layout. I have a couple other ones here. Um, so here's one in blue. And again, you can see it's just a different pattern, different um, piece of the designer paper. And here's one. So this one is in Orchid Oasis, this one. And then this one is Starry Sky. Um, and again, with a different piece of designer paper, but you could switch these up. You could, you could use any of the designer paper and make a whole handful of these, more than a handful of them really, and, and get these super, super cute cards. Quick, easy, you know, you could add more if you want. Like I said, you could add a, a gem or some kind of an embellishment of rhinestone or something sparkly that would be really nice but I think they're kind of cute just like this so that is my card for today um if you are interested in ordering any products of course you can go to lauramilligan.com that is my blog and I would be so grateful if you would place an order with me um you will find a um line a button there that says shop and you click on that you will be taken directly to my online store so that I know that you so that you know you're ordering from me and I would be very grateful for that Debbie you're so nice thank you so Debbie this would be one for you to get started with your with your um cup of tea sweet so get it out if you have time next time you have time and want to stamp and make some of these cards so I'm going to go ahead and switch my view back so let me, let me know, leave a comment, which is your favorite? Do you like the one with the sweet sorbet? This is the starry sky. I love this paper because it has the teacups on it. Or the orchid oasis. I would love to hear what your favorite one is. So let me know. And um, if you leave a comment, then you will be in the drawing to win a card um, on Thursday when I go live. And I forgot to mention, this is the one that I made last Thursday when I went live. And today I drew your name. So I will be seeing you next week. I'll probably just hang on to this till I see you then. Um, so, but today this card's for you. And so I want to thank you all for joining me. Um, I hope that you have a great day and that your week is going well so far. Please reach out if you have any questions. I will be linking my the link to my B-Box information and registration um, right at the top of this Facebook Live when I'm done here in a couple minutes. And if you have any questions about that, um, please reach out. And I guess that is all for today. And as always, I hope you have time to be creative today. Thank you all so much for joining me. Bye-bye.